Welcome to MacroCode. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. So today we are going to do a continuation of our video. So as you can see on our screen, we have our Maui app that we have been creating over time. So for those who are new to this channel, you can consider watching some of our previous videos to actually follow up on what we have been doing. So today is, uh, as you can see, we have uh, on our app, we have the employees list where we, you can see we have three lists of employees. So you can actually capture a new employee or create a new employee from the app. So select the constituency, the location, uh, the sub location, the village, the first name, macro code. Then we have the last name, you can have test. Then we have the email address. email.com then we have the date of birth so you can select the date of birth then another thing you can actually capture a photo as you can see we can take a photo then uh, you you are able to preview the photo you can see then you can save the employee details so that is some of the things that you have done for those who are new to this uh, channel so we also have the countries if you you can actually create a new country as z then we have the zambia so that is just a sample country that you can create so you can see it is able to save you can create another one uganda so you can save the country so you can see that is it you also have the constituency where you tie the constituency to the country so you select the country one you have just created you can say you can say tororo tororo you can say this is uh, tororo so this is just a sample details so you can also create another you can say this is a uh, saboti call this saboti so this is just a sample constituency and you can see our grid how our grid grid looks like so for those who are new we had done a video about grid uh, data grid on our previous video so you can watch the video and be able to add this data grid to your app you can also create a, cons a location tied to a, cons yes, a constituency so i'll just create that and it'll say kwanza then you, you're able to save it then you can be able to see the details. So the same way for the sub-locations, uh, the same way for the villages, and you also have a uh, sync data. So we are, we are able to push our data from the mobile app through an API to our database. So if you want to see that, you can actually watch our previous video. So today, remember we added our dashboard on our previous video, but you can see the total employees is 40, countries 21, which is not the actual case based on uh, what you see here. So we are going to update our dashboard to ensure that we have the uh, data consistency in terms of the statistics that we have here. So let's go to our dashboard. So this is our dashboard. Come to our dashboard page. So this is our dashboard. So if you go to our dashboard, we have the dash dashboard uh, view model. So we'll go to the view model. So you'll go to the view model. So you'll go to our view model. So this is our view model. So we have uh, this is our view model. So in our view model, we are going to define uh, the total number of uh, employees. So you'll say public. Uh, you say total employees then you say get set so we say this is total int so i'm going to define that so i'll just do this so let's take something from our view model so come to view models 
So I'm going to pick something here. So I want us to define it this way. So let's go to our dashboard view model. So I'll just replace this here and I'll say this is a uh, int. So and I say this is a uh, total employees. So I'll copy that here. Then here I'm going to say local base view model. So then I'll say this is total employees. Sorry. Then I'll say this is a uh, total employees. So this is int. So that is the total number of employees. Then we can do the total number of uh, countries. Total countries. Can also do total countries. So you can do that. You can paste this here. You can paste this here. So you can also do constituency. Total constituency. Then I will do that. You can say this is total constituencies. Then we can also do locations. So I'll say total locations. Then I'll paste this here. I'll do a total locations. I also do sub locations. Total sub locations. So I will paste this here. Also do total sub locations. Can also do villages. Say total total villages. I'll paste this here. So paste this here. So I'll do your total villages. So we have all these now. So what we need to do now is to add values to these. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another function down here. Then I'll call this uh, async void task. Ask. Set default values. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to say so this should be and I'll do this task. Then going to say public sync uh, uh, task then i'm going to say total number of employees is equals to app so i'm going to say app dot database dot get table rows so this table row should be employees employee model so this is our model then uh, we we want to get data from our table employee then we want to say this is to list then we want to count so that is it so that is the total number of employees the issue here this should be this should be that way this should be this way yeah so we can now copy this don't know if we can do a wait here it will not that won't work so we can do this here then we just do 
total the next thing is the total countries so these are countries country model then this will be our table and then we get the total countries we can do the total total uh, constituencies so you can do it here then these will be constituencies that is it then we can do this here we can also do can copy this then we can do locations so you should say locations these should be locations locations yes then that will be our table then we want to do sub locations so this will be total sub locations so this is total sub locations then we'll do sub locations then this will be our table name then we count then you can do villages so we'll say total villages then we'll do villages then you can copy these we replace it here so after that so this will be set default 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 values so we'll actually call our function here to set default values so once we do that we'll need to bind our integers to our dashboard xaml file so come to dashboard so where is it so this is the dashboard so we'll come now to the to where our values are then we say can see total employees so instead of ad coding this so we had done this we had ad coded this blend previously so you can see we have that you can say mod two way so that is it so we'll now be binding this to our values that will be from the view model so we'll take total countries so this is the value come to our xaml replace it here let's go to the next total constituency can do that our xaml file total constituencies so this should be total constituencies then our our locations you can add it here you can take the locations then you can add it here you can also check for our sub locations then we, we take the sub locations from here so that is it then you can do our villages you can check our villages here so so that is it so uh, what we need to confirm is our tables employee country constituencies locations so come to our application db context where we have uh, defined our tables employee country constituency these locations sublocations and the village confirm here employee country constituency location sublocation and the village i think that is fine so if we relaunch our app we should have the correct counters and the analysis of our data so unless something goes wrong but everything should be fine so let's see and wait so what we notice some of you guys are watching our videos and you are not subscribing so if you feel you are one of, the, of them kindly subscribe to give us a thumbs up so that you can be able to help us reach more people so if you enjoying this video like the video comment down below for any suggestions and even improvements that we can do 
then we will actually appreciate so let's wait and see how our app comes up goes on well there you are so you can see we have now the total employees as four total countries three total constituencies four locations two sublocations ones and the total villages are one so if you can see our employees we have a four that is correct countries we have three uh, constituencies we have four uh, locations we have two sublocations we have one and the villages is one so that is how uh, we have done the con that is uh, having our uh, analysis so if we try to add uh, a country you can say sa south africa so if we save it uh, you can see there are now four if we come back to countries it is actually saying it's three so but when you see the countries are four so why is it that we when we add if we add another one we say tz tanzania if we save you can see there are five but when you come to the dashboard it is showing three so what we need to do come to our dashboard here then uh, we need to define something so we need to define this so copy the these on appearing or disappearing come to the dashboard paste this here then we need to bind our data dashboard view model here then we need to say vm that set default values then you can also do this here you can also do this here so if we do that let's launch our app and see so there we go there we are you can see the countries are five four two and one let's go and add another country so if we add so these employees sorry so if we add another country we say uh rw then you say rwanda so if we save we should be able to get these are six so if we come to the home page we should be able to see it automatically refreshes so you can see it is refreshing so if we go back to the countries we add it again we say uh, br burundi burundi then we save it we are able to see we go back it should be seven so that is it so that is how you actually work with some uh, analysis on your dashboard and you can actually use this to explore and make your app a bit better so there is something that we we might do we will be actually doing on our next video so as you can see if you click uh, these uh, countries assuming you want to edit you want to delete uh, the countries that you have just added so we will be doing that on our next video if you want to see it kindly comment down below and see you on our next video so if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe comment down below share the videos and uh, let's get in touch see you on our next series uh, keep safe